Good morning friends. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men. And when a man is diagnosed with prostate cancer, he becomes really fearful. And he thinks, why this has happened to me? Why only me? I don't have any symptoms. How can I have prostate cancer? I'm Dr. Ashish Sabhawal, urologist, endologist and robotic surgeon from New Delhi, India. Today I will be introducing to you a 50-year-old patient from Nigeria. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in his country and he was shocked that he had this cancer at the age of 50. His PSA was 17 and when the biopsy was done, it showed Gleason 3 plus 4 prostate cancer. So finally, he decided to come to India for treatment. We did a PET scan. PET scan showed that the cancer was localized to the prostate. It had not spread anywhere. So we decided that for stage 1 prostate cancer, the best treatment is robotic surgery. On 14th January 2023, we did nerve sparing robotic radical prostatectomy along with amniotic membrane nerve wrap. This is a new thing which we are doing now for early recovery and early return of urine control and erections. Surgery was done on 14th of January. Today is 26th January 2023. It's about 12 days after the surgery. We removed the catheter two days ago. His urine control is very good. He is not using diapers. So let us talk to him about this whole journey and he will tell his whole experience. Thank you very much, Dr. Ashish. I am Mohamed Adams Muye from Nigeria. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer back home in Nigeria in October 2022 with a PSA of about 17.4. When my doctors diagnosed this, they gave me three options because I was surprised at my age, 50 plus, I was having prostate cancer. So I was given three options, the open surgery, the radiography, and the robotic surgery. Given those, these options, I opted for the robotic surgery, which took me to India. My doctors back home in Nigeria linked me up with Dr. Ashish, and that was how I found my way to India. On arrival in India on 11 January 2023, we were received at the airport. Before then, the fear of visa, obtaining visa, fear of language barrier, and fear of coming to India to stay and be able to be strong enough to go back to Nigeria after the, after the robotic surgery kept going through my mind. But the visa process was very easy. I got my visa. We arrived in India on the 11th of January 2023. Dr. Ashish team met us at the airport. They took us straight to our hotel. And that same day, we were at Apollo Hospital, where the test commenced immediately. I underwent series of tests from that 11th till 13th series of tests, which I might not be privy to since I'm not a medical personnel, but all the results confirmed what I was told in Nigeria that I have prostate cancer with a PSA of about 17.1. Dr. Ashish told me that I was going to be operated on on Saturday 14th, this 14th January 2023. And to God be the glory, I was operated, I was, I was given robotic surgery on Saturday 14th January 2023. I stayed for four days in the hospital. After that four days, I was discharged to return back to my hotel. For about 10 days, I was in the hotel. At the end of the 10 days, I returned back for medical checkup. All these 10 days, I was with catheter. The catheter was removed on the 24th. My fear was the urine control. And to God be the glory, in less than 24 hours after the removal of the catheter, I was able to have urine control to a very large extent, which is actually beyond what I was expecting. The language barrier was not a problem at all. A large percentage of the people I discussed and met with in India speak English, so the language was not a barrier. Strong enough to go back to Nigeria, as I'm talking to you now, I am not on diapers. By the grace of God, I will be leaving India this night for Nigeria hell, hearty, and happier than I came. To Dr. Ashish and his team, I said a very big thank you for everything. I will wholeheartedly recommend 
anybody anywhere around the globe who is having similar problem of prostate cancer to please get in touch with Dr. Ashish and his team and I want to assure you your problem will be foregone. Thank you and God bless. Thank you Mr. Adams. So I want you to listen to him and understand that if you are diagnosed with prostate cancer and it is early stage prostate cancer just like this patient, early prostate cancer is totally cured by robotic surgery and the results are very good if done by an experienced doctor who does the surgery regularly. You should consult a doctor who is doing robotic surgeries regularly and especially prostate cancer specialist and not go to any doctor and just do robotic surgery because then the results will not be that good. Having said that, whenever you have a localized prostate cancer, think of uh, doing robotic surgery and getting the cancer out. Don't go for treatments like radiation in which cancer might get destroyed, cancer might not get destroyed and it's a long term process and you will still not be cancer free. With surgery, immediately the report comes, like his uh, uh, biopsy report has come. The, we, it shows clearly that the cancer was only in the prostate, it has not gone beyond the prostate. So we can str uh, strongly say, confidently say that he is cancer free now. So that's a very good news which I can give to the patient immediately after surgery. Somebody who undergoes radiation cannot be given that type of news. He will after the treatment also keep on thinking, am I cancer free, am I not, what has happened by the radiation. So it's a confusion. But with surgery, we are absolutely crystal clear and confidently telling him that he's cancer free now. So it's a very good report. If you're also suffering from prostate cancer and you want to take opinion, you can contact me by WhatsApp or email. My email address and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you.